Okay, welcome back to uh, setting the record straight. Uh-huh. Now with uh, my friend here, Janus, uh, and we are gonna be talking about Young Thug today, uh, an artist that we love, bo- both of us actually. Yeah, I've listened um, to loads of Young Thug. And uh, and what 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 we really want to do is uh, is show you um, the different the different settings Young Thug has been able to maneuver in. Like both the street setting uh, with Rich Gang, and then afterwards in the more artistic setting from nail polish and all the way up until uh, wearing a dress on his Jeffrey album. But what I would actually like to start talking about uh, is what was the first song you heard about Thug? What was your introduction to him as an artist? So uh, I'm very excited to talk about Young Thug. Uh, he's been a uh a big artist uh, for me the past like six seven seven years i'd say so and i think it, it all began with uh with hooker uh, uh unknowingly i i just heard the song with some of my friends when we were like what like just sitting in the couch and like not do- really doing anything just yeah. vibing uh and we just played a song all the time uh with it, it was with tiger if yeah. i remember correctly uh, also, before I even knew who Tiger actually was, but yeah, that song really—I uh, I still remember it very vividly. Uh, and then I think after that, I became aware of uh, Lifestyle, uh, which was like the next song where I really realized who Young Thug was. And I yeah. think that that was Let, what you. Let's let's to. talk uh, let's talk Hooker first. Yeah. Because I remember Hooker, uh, I remember like listening to Tiger back in the old days when Young Money came through. Mm-hmm. Well, Tiger was a part of that, and as you know, afterwards Birdman actually said, or Tiger actually said about Birdman that he never received a dollar yeah, from yeah. him, like nothing. He hasn't received anything from him, and I think that's that's something about Birdman you should know when we get to talking about lifestyle next. Yeah, but in in context to Hooker. Uh, I, I I just heard Hooker because I listened to Tiger and then I was like who's that guy on the beat he's like going crazy like he was kind of like going everywhere basically yeah. uh, while rapping um, yeah he definitely had a, a crazy flow that you didn't really haven't, hadn't really heard before I, I say at the time yeah. it was uh, very very new and then and then Lifestyle came yeah. and I remember being at one of my friends houses and we were going, uh, we were going partying. Uh, obviously, we were, we were like, I think we were one year, one year from being uh, old enough to uh, actually get into the clubs. But we, but we, anyway, we snuck in. Yeah, but I, I remember I at do. the at the pre party, we list one of my friends. He said, "Guys, listen to this guy. You don't get at what he's saying <laughs> at all." And we really didn't. Yeah. But what's funny about lifestyle now? I think I actually posted a meme about this like uh, a couple of days ago or a week ago. That now you can understand it. Yeah, now, I I I remember that too. That like the first time I heard it, everybody was just like, "I oh, gotta listen to the song. Nobody knows what he's saying." And I don't know why it was so hype, but that that I think that that's like the essence of mumble rap, I yeah. guess being. Being yeah. like hype yeah. and the the vibe it brings, but at the time I was just like I was so amazed. Like at some some of some people were making fun of it, and some people I, I actually quite dug it. But because most of the people I I was friends with at the time, I I only listened to it kind of like with an ironic distance. Like, uh, but I, I I actually very I, I liked it a lot and. Uh, uh. I don't, it only spiraled my like love for for Young Thug from that moment on. I, I get what you're saying because I remember I remember it being uh, up to the point where you you almost you shouldn't you weren't allowed to say that you liked it. You weren't allowed yeah. to really like it for what it was. Yeah. You were only like allowed to like it in like an ironic sense, yeah, in a sarcastic way, yeah. Um, but I think that the fact that we now understand what he's saying is yeah. just goes to show how much he influenced music. Definitely. Because I think it was JC that said like um, 
it's almost like a cadence. Like he becomes an instrument within the music. Yeah. And yeah, that's true. I remember which is, that. Yeah. Which is the same uh, thing about future. Yeah. He's also in in, in a different way. Maybe I, I I'm not that great within like the musical terms, but I think like future is maybe like. Um, like a deeper melody or like a bass yeah i definitely say he was a lower vo- he has a more like yeah ba- bassy voice like yeah. uh where young thug is more uh, a little more up and down sometimes yeah. and yeah, and he can go h- a lot higher than future can what yeah i think what from what we've heard uh so far from him 